I like to, to, to make the dogs happy. Um, I try to bring it straight from my oven, straight to the table and make it as fresh as possible. In the sea of fruits and veggies, you can't miss dog chef Reggie Carter in the corner. Look for the tall guy with the puppy apron on and, <laughs> and the pencil in his ear with the, with the bright, attractive colors. Uh, this will we'll be. This past year, Reggie and his family added a furry friend to their clan. A change that now makes him bake dog treats. I would assume that the baking, the, the comfortableness in the kitchen comes from how I grew up. Uh, growing up on a farm down south, uh, parents, grandparents, sister, everyone's always cooking and baking. Must be rough donuts or cupcakes are not your ordinary canine treats though. It looks fancy and looks sweet, but each ingredient is like hand selected to for health benefits. So we can eat them. You definitely could eat them. No sugar in it, no salt in it. You'll notice that right away. You put them in the refrigerator, they'll stay in there for about 10 days, but you can freeze them. You can't put them on a shelf. You can't put them in the back of a warehouse. And, and that's the way I would like to keep it. I like to keep it that way. If it causes me not to sell as many because they don't last as long, I'm fine with that. And while Reggie loves being in the kitchen, baking for his new Brooklyn Park business takes more than one. My family helps. We're a big praying family, so we believe in God as well. So I definitely know that we wouldn't be anywhere near where we are w w without God. A blessing he plans to share with others right in his area. Do you live near here? Yeah, we live. You know, we love all dogs, but Brooklyn Park and the surrounding cities, that's that's where our main focus is first. Nina Bupasavan, CCX News. What kind of smoothies do they have? I don't know. I'm sure he don't have a uh, peanut butter banana.